Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jill Malandrino for the Voice of America, and this is your Monday Market Motivation on Facebook Live. Stocks open lower across the board in the U.S. with all three major averages clearly in the red. The Dow almost at triple digit, 300 point losses while global stocks tumbled and European bank shares were on track for their biggest ever two-day fall. Although the moves were not as extreme as last Friday, the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average erased their gains for the year as all three major averages closed near session lows last week. At one point, the Dow was down over 650 points while the Nasdaq was in correction territory. The SIBO Volatility Index, or the VIX, a measure of volatility in the market, was up as much as 49% in just one trading session. Gold, which is viewed as a safe haven asset, surged more than 5%. Investors also sought refuge in the yen, dollar, and U.S. Treasury bonds. The market now does not expect an interest rate hike until 2018. Fed funds futures are pricing in the first hike to half a percent to three quarters of a percent as more likely in 2018 compared with January 2017 just last week. The Fed also said it is prepared to provide dollar liquidity through its swap lines with global central banks as necessary to address pressures in the global funding markets. A liquidity swap is used by a country's central bank to provide liquidity of its currency to another central bank in times of market stress. The European Central Bank is also for all contingencies and is in close contact with the bank it supervises and considers that the euro area banking system is resilient in terms of capital and liquidity. Nicole, as chief market strategist at Convergex, told investors that the world is a very different place post-Brexit vote, and it will take time to understand all the ramifications. How and when will be a function of an as-yet unchosen British leadership and an uncertain EU response. Capital markets would do what they always do in such circumstances, overly discount the downside case, and then slowly find their way to the more nuanced truth. For this week, that means a continued rally in the U.S. dollar and safe global sovereign debt. Expect knee-jerk rallies, too, as markets seesaw to a new equilibrium. Brexit will continue to take front and center, but there are some economic data points in the U.S. that traders will be watching, including international trade in goods, GDP, personal income and outlays, ISM manufacturing index, and motor vehicle sales on Friday. The earnings calendar is very quiet and will remain light until the season picks up in the second week of July, a very welcome change for traders to take the focus off of macro concerns. However, there are some reports to be aware of, including Nike, Monsanto, General Mills, and Constellation Brands. So much for quiet summer trading. For The Voice of America and NASDAQ, I'm Jill Malandrino in New York City.